Hey guys, Tarkat here, and I want to make a video just kind of summarizing a mild frustration I had with the last set of um, patch notes and the response to the patch notes that Chris made. Now, before I get into it, I just want to say I have the utmost respect for Chris, the rest of the team. They're in an incredibly awkward situation. The fact they went from Fall of Oriath into War for the Atlas of the Worlds, War for Atlas, long name, is insane. I have the utmost sympathy and respect for this corner you're in because you are suffering some, some, from some serious spectacle creep. And hopefully, smooth launch, guys, I love you. And I hope that the bitching I do doesn't ever get in the way of our working relationship. That being said, there was one thing in here which really kind of like pushed me over the edge. So, the only bit I'm focusing on is this. Buffing stuff isn't just a matter of typing a bigger number into a box but often involves recreating content from the ground up, like with, ten like with lightning tendrils. Okay, it's not just a case of putting a bigger number in a box. Static Strike's radius has been increased from 19 to 20, bringing its total radius to 24 at jump level 20. This is what Static Strike looks like currently at level 20 on live. This is what it looks like with the change, plus one. I made a video talking about Static Strike and the state of AoE about a month ago, and I don't know who at the team thought, you know what guys, Static Strike, it needs some love. It needs some buffs. You know what we need to do? We need to give it plus one. You don't have the time to just add numerical values. And it's not just a case of just adding numerical values. But if you actually just added numerical, like if you just increase the base AOE of a bunch of skills by a couple, uh, three to five, that is actually the difference between a skill being not playable and actually kind of viable. They've done some very small buffs um, to a few melee skills. Earthquake, for example, going from 25 to 28, it's not that crazy, but this is actually enough that people are talking about maybe doing something with Earthquake again, right? Adding about three AoE to stuff like Earthquake and Reeve is enough to make people think, maybe I will try this out again. Adding plus one to Static Strike, which is a really awkward skill, and yes, I know you can link it with Ancestor's Call, but it's, it does nothing. It does absolutely nothing. And it's one of those things where if they'd given it plus three, it still wouldn't really do anything, but it would at least be kind of like, oh, maybe I'll try that out now. And if you haven't got the time to completely rework skills, but you have got time to add base AoE to skills, why not add base AoE to all the skills missing base AoE? If you have time to add plus one to Static Strike, you could add plus one to Vortex or, for example, Lacerate. Now, Vortex is a skill which is really cool, got a lot of hype when it first came out, did really cool stuff in the double dipping uh, meta. They killed a double dipping, and then they were like, hmm, we've killed its AoE, we've killed double dipping, we've killed ignite, we've killed this. Pfft, we'll just have to wait. And it's, ah, there are so many skills which if you just gave them a little bit of radius, it's only Pogchamp. We saw this with Blasphemy. Blasphemy went from being too broken, they gutted the AoE, it was dead, no one used it. They then increased the AoE slightly, Blasphemy's in a really good spot right now. Earthquake is looking to be in a pretty good state with just a little slight increase of three. Adding plus one to Static Strike is beyond meaningless and if anything just feels like an insult and the reason why I take it so personally is I made a video talking about Static Strike and how adding plus one to Static Strike does nothing because at the time people were saying Taki just used Carcass Strike, Carcass Strike gives you AoE and the thing was Carcass Strike only gave you plus one. What they've basically done chat is they've just said, hmm, do you remember that video that Tarki made? Or the Static Strike video, yeah. Yeah, it seems like he just needed some inbuilt Carcass Strike. They've just made Carcass Strike inbuilt to Static Strike. I got angry when I saw this change. Kind of just laughed it off and thought it was fine. Um, I then just had a random conversation with the Grill and she was like, oh, how are the patch notes? And I just went on like an hour long tirade about adding plus one to Static Strike. So I thought I would share the love with you guys. Chris, I love you, man. I really do. And I agree with most of what you say here. 
Um, and I really wish the team the best of luck, and I hope that you get a really smooth launch, and I hope you guys actually get some time off for Christmas, because I think you work way too hard. Genuinely, I think you do. But who at the, who at the team added plus one? Who was it? Just just let me know. Can I just get him? In, can I get him on Bay Class? Can I? I want to. I want to know why. I want to know why they added plus one. Please, I would. Oh, it just anything. I would. I would make like twenty videos just talking about how great the name Chris Wilson was if I could have a five minute conversation with whoever decided that plus one to Static Strike was a reasonable change because it just confuses me. And like for the record, I was actually pretty spot on. I predicted basically every single change stuff which wouldn't get nerfed, such which would get nerfed. I called everything. So like we're kind of on the same wavelength. But then this happens and I'm just like they're fucking with me, right? Anyway. I'm Taki Cat. I've just added plus one to my video feed. I hope that you're all kind of, you know, having more fun with the patch notes than I am. Overall, I actually think this is a pretty solid set of patch notes, quality of life wise. This is the kind of patch which goes under the radar, but the amount of good quality of life changes, like the way that the flask overlay is changing, the buff stuff, long term, it's good. But you guys do need to work out your reworking schedule and try not to give us meme ammunition. One of the big issues that you guys suffer with is making comments that the community can then take and turn into a meme. Like 6% more Glacial Hammer, 25k Energy Shield, thousands of hours, plus one Static Strike. I'm Salty Cat. Salt, salt, salt. So salt, so salt. Bye-bye.